Sup guys, Hikin here bringing you another news discussion video regarding the latest news on the latest Resident Evil game that's supposed to be coming out soon. Resident Evil Outrage. And potentially Resident Evil 9. So, there was a recent Twitter post by someone called Old Wesker. And he pretty much said the following. Jill to play huge role, either outrage or apocalypse. And as everyone is aware by now, apparently the rumors are that apocalypse is going to be RE9 and it is currently in development, which makes sense because RE8 village into development around what six months before RE7 came out, as Capcom confirmed. So Potentially they're doing the same thing again, you know, the game went into development around this, probably some point before Ori Village came out. Now, uh, Old Wesker continues to say, Dusk asks to keep it on the server, but it's been months. We should be good. So this is what Dusk had to say. I really, really, really shouldn't say this. Please, oh please, just keep this in this server. But what I'll, what I'll say is in one of the two RE games on this list, referring to Outrage and Apocalypse, either either what I think Outrage may be or Apocalypse, Jill has a prominent role in the game. So he ends with prominent role, but he's referring to her having a big role in those games. So Jill might appear in Outrage or Apocalypse. There's been a lot of recent supposed leaks regarding Outrage and Apocalypse and a lot of the leaks say very different things. There was one leak recently by a... what were they called? What were they called? Let's get them... let's get their names up here. Let's see if it's... Ari Leaker... Fag. Apologize for that. That is the name of the leaker. Okay, it, do, it does seem like they're full of crap, I mean, especially since they name themselves that. And a lot of the info has sort of panned out to maybe not be true. But they did say, they did say that uh, Ari Outrage would star Rebecca and Natalia, which is basically what Dusk has also said and that it would be set in a university etc etc with this kind of virus so there's there's overlapping of leaks sort of sounding correct but when it comes to the supporting characters that's where it all starts to fall apart Ari Lika here uh, says that the supporting characters supposedly will be Barry and Ada Wong Dusk recently said that he heard news that the supporting character will be Leon. And now he's saying that he's heard that Jill is going to play a role in this game. Now, I don't know who's developing this game. Uh, from what I've, from rumors I've heard, apparently it might be the same people or the same uh, development team that did Revelations 1 and Revelations 2. But obviously it's been directed by certain people in Capcom's higher up. For, for example, the director of Revelations 1 was the director of uh, Resident Evil 7. So obviously they get people from Capcom to help with these games where it's a different studio making. It's sort of like how uh, Studio M2 uh, did the remake for Resident Evil 3 and then they were doing the remake for Resident Evil 4 but now they're sort of off the project and Capcom's Division 1 apparently is doing the remake for Resident Evil 4 now. But, um, yeah. It's getting a bit muddled and confusing to who to trust and who to believe. Now, uh, Ari Lika has said that RE9, or Apocalypse if you will, would have Chris, Leon, Claire, and Jill as the main returning characters in that game, and they would serve as the final number title. Now, this is something that Dusk himself has said in regards to Resident Evil 9 being the final numbered title as well. But he hasn't actually said or confirmed whether Chris, Leon, Claire or Jill will be in it. So a lot of different news here. Now obviously Dust doesn't confirm what game Jill is in. He just says that she's either going to be in Outrage or 
RE9, which brings me to the whole team thing that I was talking about. Uh, the team that made Revelations 2, or I, I don't know if it was one of the producers, they said that if they were to come back and do a third game, and a lot of rumours also say that, and I think even Dusk says this, that Outrage originally started off as Revelations 3. I believe the producer, one of the developers, said that if they came back to do a third game, they would have Rebecca, Claire and Jill as the main characters in that game. Now obviously it seems the Rebecca part is true, but there's no hints whatsoever that Claire's going to be in this. And now you've got Doc saying that maybe Jill is going to be in this, and Jill's been gone for a long time, you know. And yeah, we all we all want to see where she is in present time, and it kind of would make sense for her maybe to appear in a spin-off title like Outrage, or what would con technically be Revelations 3, since she, since she was in the first Revelations game. It would be a nice way of tying Revelations 3 to both Revelations 1 and Revelations 2. Revelations 2 in terms of the fact that Nat Nat Natalia is going to come back and obviously Alex Wesker is going to play some sort of role in there, especially if, if you know everyone is saying that she is going to be the secondary main character, but also a tie into Revelations 1 in terms of bringing Jill back. So then you've got that connective tissue with this trilogy in a way, even though the top title is different. Instead of being called Revelations 3, it's Outrage. But... At the same time, the rumours about RE9 bringing all the old school main characters back and sort of ending their plots in that kind of makes more sense. But the way Resident Evil 8 ends, it kind of hints that Rose is going to be the main character going forward in Resident Evil 9. But then we don't even know what time period Resident Evil, you know, epilogue, Resident Evil 8's epilogue takes place in. We don't know if Rosemary has aged considerably fast and therefore Chris and Joe and all the other characters wouldn't be too old to still play active and physical roles in the series because if the game does if the epilogue does in fact take place like 10 18 years later then that would be impossible like for Chris and Joe to be in it like to play active roles they would be old as hell but if it is fast growth say about maybe five years or something, something like maybe The Fly 2, if you guys seen that movie, and her metabolism or whatever causes her to grow up faster, and I think there are hints of this in the game itself with the flasks, and it tells you the sort of ages and that, I think, I'm not too sure about that, then there's potential that, yeah, potential possibility that Rose has in fact grown very fast, but her attitude is very mature. So that's a bit weird there. Then again, they sort of did something like this with uh, one of the characters in... Uh, Skyline, uh, I think the sequel when it came out, so maybe something like that, you know, little girl grows bigger and bigger, but she's intelligent, like, like, that's part of the, like, thing about her infection, like, she grows old, she grows quick, but she also gains intelligence very fast as well, so maybe something like that, I don't know, but yeah, it's very interesting to hear this news that, yeah, like, Jill is gonna come back, and I'm hoping it's true, I'm hoping it's true, but whether it's an Outrage or Resident Evil 9, that remains to be seen. An Outrage is supposed to be coming out. Well, it was supposed to come out this year for the Nintendo Switch before coming out for consoles next year. But that's obviously not happening. And if we are going to get a confirmation about this game, it would have to be sometime, I guess, if at Tokyo Game Show maybe, which is the only last place I can see them confirm this game. Otherwise, we're probably going to be waiting until E3 next year for a potential late release in 2022. Because with the way things are now, Resident Evil 4 Remake is definitely coming out in 2023 maybe. But that might come out in late 2023. So obviously because of COVID and the leaks and maybe production issues, a lot of things have been switched around. I mean, the production schedule did say Outrage was a 2021 release that obviously is not going to be the case any longer so i'm imagining 2022 probably a late release because we also have the dlc for resident evil village to keep in mind and that's probably going to come out first and maybe have certain setups for the future of where re9 is going to go maybe we'll have to wait and see and really guys that's all the news i can share with you today so as always like and subscribe and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care, guys. Bye.